Aylsham is a pretty market town halfway between Norwich and the coast in the county of Norfolk. It has a long history going back to the Romans and today is known for its gentle pace of life, active church, coffee shops, pubs and independent shops, many of which are grouped around the central marketplace. While some of the buildings have been here for centuries, it's a growing town, and alongside traditional events such as the weekly auctions, locals and incomers are adding new activities to the life of the town. We've actually ran this business for five years. Five years. Nearly five years. Um, we took it over 2015. Yeah. Jason's third generation, yep. and I'm fourth generation, and it's gone from there. We're always trying to do different, new ideas, um, something different to do with the meat, marinades, flavours, spices. That's, that's always constantly changing. It's just trying to keep up with what people want and people's different flavours. We put a lot of work into what we do. It ain't just a case of coming in in the morning and just putting it out. We concentrate a lot on the displays we do with the meat, um, how we set it out, how we're going to move the colours around. The secret to run a successful shop is to have a good interaction with the customers. If we didn't have customers, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be anywhere. And we're very appreciative to them customers. But with that, I suppose you've got to have good staff around you. Our staff behind us, our team, we wouldn't be nowhere where we are today. We've got a brilliant team behind us. Well, a lot of the prep, I mean, like Jason said earlier, we empty, the counter has to be emptied every night. So everything's emptied and washed out the night before, so when we first get in the morning about up at six, start setting the counter out and depending on what products we're made, the day, you know, you set it out to how we want it and we change it every day. Then it's just preparation for me. We have a lot of orders to get ready for restaurants and pubs and things like that, which is another job. And then you've got your things like sausages, burgers and all that to make. Reese, you do a lot of that sort of stuff yeah, as well. and there's all that. All the, you know, and the beef, you get all your beef and your pork and lambs all on the carcass, so to speak, which needs splitting up. So it takes a long while to get from something like that to join the meat in the counter. So the main difference between butcher's meat, or high street butcher's meat, and a supermarket meat, is the hanging. Unless you hang the meat, you don't get the muscle breakdown. A supermarket will get their meat and that's cut up and packaged nearly straight away in its own blood. Whereas a butcher will cut it and hang it, the blood will drip out, which helps with the tissue breakdown to make that meat tender. But being almost next door to Coxford Butchers, it's brilliant to come over here and speak to the boys in the uh, butchery and uh, they supply us with all of our steaks and sausages, including their award-winning sausages, um, lamb shanks, uh, calves liver, various other, other bits. Alsham being a very pleasant market town, it's affluent, it's got a good social demographic. Um, the store was here 
and we felt that by improving the image of the store and the range of products that we would do well in a market town such as Alsham. And since we've done that, we've modelled quite a lot of our business development on market towns. So my main jobs is I come in in the morning, I set up the shop, bake off what we need for the day, I'll make fresh scones and things like that, um, and then we open the shop, we serve throughout the day. I keep an eye on my staff, make sure they're okay, I do place any orders that we need, things for deliveries. Uh, the interesting part of the working in the shops is definitely the customers. Um, we get some brilliant customers coming in here and you get the regulars and they're so lovely and you get to, you get to know them and ask about their personal life and yeah, you get a really good rapport with them and I really, really enjoy that. So our main bakery is in uh, Norwich, um, just off the Ring Road and we've been there for many years. We produce product there every day, seven days a week, fresh. And today we're based in our Alsham branch in the Market Square and we deliver to all of our stores every morning around about five, six o'clock in the morning with the fresh product. So we have a, a large range um, of products. We do everything from speciality breads and sourdoughs uh, through to um, sausage rolls. We, we make our own sausage rolls using uh, uh, butcher's um, sausage meat and we make our own pastry. In fact, we're quite famous for our sausage rolls. All of our staff are barista trained, so we make a lot of, lot of coffee these days. And uh, we, we try to cater for a, a large range of people. We also do lots and, of sandwiches and uh, filled rolls. Um, paninis, it's obviously been very cold, so paninis, a hot snack is very welcome. So we're very fortunate with the uh, fantastic mix of people that we get and I think that's true to say of all the flour and beans um, within our group of shops. My grandfather started the auction back in 1953 in Coronation Year. We started off as a livestock market back in the 1950s and then we changed the focus as the markets changed. We have a weekly auction and soft furnishings and then we have regular sales of antique items, high value art fine art, pictures, uh, paintings. In recent years we've reached out further internationally, so with the internet we now sell to every continent. So we really are now a global company rather than just a local one. We still run what was our core business, which is the weekly market every Monday, where we have anything from plants for the garden, you can buy tools to dig the garden with, you can buy antique furniture to put in your house. Absolutely anything can be bought and sold here on a Monday. My job on a Monday is to stand up and actually encourage people to buy things and make the most money possible for our sellers. Five money with pliers, five minutes. Couple of pounds start before it two, I'll be the two and two. Two and two, two and two, two here. And two and two, two and two, two and two all over the way. And two pounds away, sales of the maiden bid then. And two pounds. The book Monday Market uh, was a project that I undertook. I uh, started taking pictures in 1990. Key's auctions on a Monday essentially was a little bit like a kind of frozen moment in time because it kind of linked to the past 
uh, and also it uh, because it was a kind of um, a market involving kind of uh, the, the local community I wanted to document that. Uh, I want to be an auctioneer mainly because of my fascination with uh, objects and specifically military and medals. Victorian uh, chocolate and tobacco tin issued to soldiers serving in South Africa in 1901 and this would be estimated between about £50. Our last sale we had a bronze Buddha dating back to probably the beginning of the 19th century um, brought back to the UK from a family that um, I think the um, grandfather was serving in the British Army in the, the end of the 19th century. It's got a, an inscription. We've not been able to um, identify uh, or translate and that sold for £56,000. So it was, uh, for, for us, it was a record price for the sale. This evening we're showing A Star is Born. I'm James Late and I am the chairman of the Ailsham Picture House. The role of the chairman um, to keep order at rowdy meetings and make sure people don't drink too much. It's all very democratic, but I'm just there to keep order, crack a whip, make sure they don't all gossip amongst themselves when we're trying to make very important decisions. My name's Paul Vater and I'm the communications person. I was inspired to get involved really by uh, wanting, having moved from London in 2012, I was conscious that I wanted to get involved in a community activity just to get to meet people and to be uh, involved in something that was going to be part of the community. I think that the picture house is really important to Aylsham. We don't have a lot of opportunities to get access to cultural events here and the Picture House is a great way to see films from all over the world in all different genres and it's also a really great way for the community here to meet each other, socialize, have fun, we have live entertainment on some nights so it's a great opportunity for everyone to enjoy a night and be exposed to culture in a different way. So how important is the cinema to Aylsham? I think it's very important. It's, uh, it's a wonderful social occasion. Yeah, no, I think it's important, yeah, to have an alternative to pubs and restaurants. It's nice to have a, a sort of an a mixture scene. It's like quite a community thing and it's really nice for people to go and, and gather. It's a terrific social free for all and you need to meet people and then recognise them around the town. I think it's sort of quite nostalgic as well because this is more like the cinema that we would have been used to in our youth, nicer than some of the multiplex cinemas that there are around now. How did the picture house get started? Somebody in the town wanted to start an art centre in a disused Methodist chapel, Baptist chapel in fact. And we all had several meetings and we got very cold and damp in this decrepit old chapel. And then it sort of got out of hand with costings and pricings. And some of us thought, why don't we just have a cinema club and show films in the town hall? And that's really how it started. Uh, we always ask the, the audience to rate each film that we are showing and we usually show them these slips that are on the chairs and they're numbered from one to five and they tear into the slip to indicate whether they've enjoyed it, which is number one, or whether they've hated it, number five. And from this we get a snapshot of whether or not people have enjoyed the experience of coming to the pitch house on that evening and we publish those results on our website. 